So the Power BI update for September 2023 is out and I'm going to go through the small changes they have introduced. Let's get started. On the reporting side, we have just updates for mobile editing. So you have now the possibility to test the buttons, the slices and visuals on the editing on the desktop before you actually publish it. So you don't need to publish it and test it. It's quite nice. And the other one is to be able to adjust table and matrix column headers to fit as you like. Before it was predetermined, now you determine the width and it will be respected, which is quite nice. So for this smart narrative visual, now if you are selecting a value of a column before you only display numbers, now it will display also text. I didn't know this was a thing, I always use measures, but if you are using it, now you know. Modeling in the service. So there are uh, an important change here with how this is really impossible to work with. The changes on the service and the desktop will now be synced. So if you work on the service and then load a Power BI file, the changes that you made on the service will be on the downloaded file, obviously, and the other way around. If you do changes on the desktop and you upload it, they will be reflected on the service too. So this is extremely important for the service to be useful at all. For the Q&A visual, is anybody using Q&A visual? But anyway, for the Q&A visuals, now you can edit linguistic relationships. So I guess you can like add synonyms. I thought that this was possible before, but apparently they have improved it somehow. So if you're using that visual and you want to add synonyms, you can. Some more DAX changes, and this is for the mean X and max X. They are adding a new parameter to both functions. And it goes like this. So you have a column that has mixed data types. So it's a column that contains, say, uh, numbers and text and true and false. So before, mean x and max x just evaluated for the numbers. Now with the new parameter, if you say true, it will also evaluate the text, but will continue to ignore the booleans. Okay, so if you say false, it will, continue, it will just evaluate numbers. If you say true, it will consider the text too. And again, on the service, they have made changes when testing role level security. So now for the same database, when testing role level security, you can pick which report you want to test for. And if you are testing for a specific person, you can see which important permissions that person has on the role that you're testing for, okay? And last but not least, the Git integration with Power BI. If you don't know what there is, it's basically so you can do version handling and you can work with multiple people using GitHub. So they have made changes to that. The first one is it allows to do changes with paginated reports. And the other one is how to check out and switch branches in a workspace. So check the details on the Power BI blog because they explain it in exclusive in detail if you need to. So this is all for this month. Uh, it's a very, very thin update. I hope they will continue doing updates on the reporting pane and the visualization capabilities, but let's see. Anyway, folks, let me know if you have a favorite this month and I will see you again next week with another video.